Ask anyone to name a symbol of Britishness and chances are the black cab will be right at the top of the list. Ever since 1948, with the Austin FX3, London has had bespoke, purpose-built taxis trundling around its congested streets, driven by some of the most professional and knowledgeable drivers in the world. Strong and durable they may have been, but you'd never call a black cab a state-of-the-art piece of kit. But that's all about to change with the new TX. Over the years, the taxi we've known and loved has been built by a company known by different names, most recently the London Taxi Company. Now owned by the Chinese, and as a sign of its eco-minded future, we now have the London Electric Vehicle Company, or LEVC, and this is their new baby, the TX. LEVC has had a £325 million investment by owner Geely and now has a brand new factory in Coventry, the first dedicated EV factory in the UK no less. The TX is totally new and it's a range extender. There's two electric motors at the back giving a range of 75 miles and there's a 1.5 litre three-cylinder petrol engine from a Volvo V40 up front to boost range up to 400 miles. To make the TX as good as it could have been, they've spoken to every taxi driver from Watford to Waterloo, and London cabbies aren't a bunch of people to hold back. Come on, mate, use your indicator! Bloody hell, who taught you to drive? Well, you never guess who had my cab last week, Sharon Stone. Oh, we missed those lights then, didn't we? All right, darling, where to? Taxi drivers are probably the pickiest new car buyers ever, and they have to be. They sit in the driver's seat for hours every day, clocking up to 300,000 miles in a cab's lifetime. Speaking to some of the finest cabbies in London, they're fed up with the current TX Falls cramped driving position, patchy build quality and wailing diesel engine. For the new TX, they wanted a car that happened to have a taxi body on it. They wanted low running costs, they wanted all the mod cons, and yet it had to look traditional. They wanted rather a lot. Well, whilst we're stuck in traffic here in central London, what do I think to this new TX? Well, the overwhelming feeling is that this feels like a car that has a taxi body on it. I mean, in many ways, it does feel like a big SUV. You've got this raised driving position, the doors are thick. Everything feels quite low down. You've got this commanding driving position. And the whole thing does feel like a car. It feels even more like a car in many ways because if you look in here, virtually everything that you can see is taken straight out of a Volvo. Now, putting aside the fact that the infotainment system and all the buttons are taken straight out of a Volvo XC90, so is the steering wheel, the start-stop engine button, the gear lever, even the key is taken straight out of a Volvo. I've been talking to a few taxi drivers today and a lot of them are very turned on by all of this type of stuff. I mean, the seat, for instance, is really, really comfortable, but that's not the thing that they're most interested in. Do you want to know what that is? It's a cup holder. For the first time ever, it seems, a taxi has got a cup holder. Taxi drivers, you've got to love them, haven't you? It's not just the fact that this feels like a car to drive, it's, it also sounds like a car to drive. It sounds like any modern hybrid in many ways because this thing is so quiet. Now, if you've been in an old TX4 taxi, and I'm sure you have, it is so noisy. The, diesel engine is rattling away, the automatic gearbox doesn't know which gear it should be in, and the whole thing is a pretty unpleasant experience, not only for the taxi driver, but also for the passenger as well. But this, it is so, so quiet. The ride is very good, the transmission is very smooth, so you tend to drive away, you tend to glide around town in many ways. The only thing I don't quite like is the regenerative brakes. Now, I've driven lots of cars, lots of hybrids and lots of electric cars with regenerative brakes. So that's part and parcel of driving those types of cars. But in this, it does feel very, very spongy. And you can't help, but when you come to a standstill, you come to a quite an abrupt halt. But apart from that, this is an incredibly good car to drive. That doesn't mean there are no faults. The new TX feels like an SUV to drive, which is great, but that also means it feels as big and as cumbersome as a Chelsea tractor. 
With all those bits from the Volvo parts bin, the new TX doesn't feel particularly special in the way a bespoke taxi should. And then there's the price. There are three models, with the range kicking off at a considerable £55,500, rising to a heart-stopping grand for the top model. But weekly PCPs are reasonable. There is a three-year warranty and a five-year battery warranty. Well, I'm not really interested in all of that. As a punter, I'm more interested in what it's like back here. And I can tell you, just like life up in the front, life back here is pretty rosy. There's a huge amount of space. I mean, you can easily fit three people back here along this back seat, and there's three individual seats in front of me. So if I so wish, I could take five of my friends along with me. It's very comfortable. I am sitting right over the back wheels, just like you do in the old TX4, but the ride is a lot more supple. It's also full of gadgets back here. I've got a USB charging port down here so I can charge my phone on the move. Another one down there. I've even got climate control there as well, and I can speak to the driver just by pressing the intercom button. Another cool feature is the fact that there's a three pin socket down there, so if I so wish I can charge my laptop up whilst we're driving around. Although if you are working whilst you're moving, it is a little bit sad. And gone are the days when I have to get out of the cab and pay the driver through the window because here is a contactless chip and pin machine. So it all is very easy and straightforward. But the thing I like the most though is this glass panoramic roof because it means that I can look up at this quite dismal November day. But in the summer, it's going to be absolutely lovely. Sorry, excuse me. Driver, driver, do you know where you're going? I think we should have taken a right back there. It seems as though no matter how good the new taxi is, you're always going to get customers who think they know it all. Click the video window on the left for a first drive of the Volvo XC90, or on the right for a first sale of the Aston Martin Speedboat, and press the Auto Express logo to subscribe to our channel.